Hello and welcome to Connect Builds. We're back with another episode of Return to Moria. I'm going to go ahead and apologize at the beginning of the episode here. I'm uh, starting to get sick again. I'm just getting over being sick, so uh, my voice may be a little bit off today and uh, there may be some awkward pauses as I uh, try and hack up a lung over here. But I can't uh, keep myself away from this game. We're going to keep going. But before we go back out on the adventure to find Star Metal, which is, I believe, our next major step to progress, I was taking a look at buildings we haven't built yet. And I know this is something that a lot of people have been saying, hey, hey, why aren't you, you know, doing more with brewing so that you can get buffs and stuff? And I realized there's this whole brew tank I haven't even used yet. I thought, why not? We've actually got the ironwood for this. It's uh, so much ironwood, it makes me want to cry. Uh, but we're going to put it down. And this thing is weird. Okay, there we go. Um, which way do I want this to face? I think that's the tap. And I don't know what the ladder's for, but I have a ladder. Uh, I can always readjust. But I think I'm going to put it down with the ladder this way. And we're going to put it right over here. I'm not going to get too close to the wall. And there we go. Look at all of those. Uh, re oh, those are the same recipes I already have. So that's the tap. This is nothing. And then do I have to climb the ladder to start the recipe? That seems a little much. Brew tank, craft. So this is exactly the same as the small one I have. It's just probably going to be a lot more. Uh, greatly restores health. Okay, uh, food seems pretty useful for that, though. And this is the one that raises stamina power temporarily, but then leaves me hurt and tired afterwards. So this seems like a bad idea. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out what buffs uh, everybody's talking about that I should be using. This one just prevents and cures poison. That seems pretty um, not interesting. So I suppose the restoring health could be useful. Uh, in the fights and stuff, but I've just been using rations for that. I'm using the evening ale every time before we head out for the day. So I guess I want to try and figure out how to get this orcish medicine going, and I can use that for the big fights. I'm going to need a lot more of that bite weed when we come across it, so we'll get some more of that here at some point. I suppose if I put it in the, the smaller uh, deal over here. It wouldn't be as big of a deal, but we're gonna keep using this up until we get through it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and drink my evening ale. I'm gonna rest, eat my food, and we'll head out. Interestingly enough, we got the Drake Hunter buff this time around. I wonder if the fell beasts count as drake type monsters. We could go and try and clear those fell beasts off of the area there and uh, the zone we've been going to. I don't know if that would be something we're actually supposed to do at some point or not, but I'm kind of tempted to try it. These buffs all wear off so quickly is actually my been my biggest problem with them. But we're going to get that one too. Go to the door, Delf, and we'll go to the outpost and go see what we can do about this. Now, one thing I did just now realize I forgot to do is put an enchantment on this sword. I do tend to just uh, favor the orc damage enchantment for our combat uh, stuff because more often than not, we're fighting against orcs. But for this, I feel like I'm going to want the Matic. And I wish I had that other helmet on. Wow. Alright. I can roll against the attack. I'm running out of stamina though. Oops. Oh, we got it. Fine leather and scales. Well, it scales like a drake. I don't know if our drake buff was helping at all, but that wasn't nearly as tough as I was expecting it to be. I think I'm going to actually... My helmet's almost busted anyway. We're going to shift into this one to give us a little bit of light. And now that we've busted in here, we can finally see what precious gems these are.
Looks like Amethyst, which, again, I, you know, most of the resources in this game I have yet to really find a use for most of them after the first couple of things I do with them. When the embers cool, ale in my hand by the hearth. Well, that was one fell beast. I guess I can take down this banner while I'm here. I think this will be for a patrol of some kind. Fire up the torch and we'll go up top and see if the other fell beast is up there waiting for us. I only used up about one bar of armor doing that for a change. I don't know if I'm getting more competent or uh, that was just a easier fight than I was expecting. Like, anytime I don't do damage to a monster, I feel like I shouldn't be fighting it. You know, when I'm, oops, don't do the full damage. But maybe some of these were just meant to be fought at the time you come across them. I don't know. But we're going to go fight this one. Oops, I missed. Oh, I did not block that. I thought I was blocking. Alright. to see coming. Oops. I saw it coming and I uh, just didn't push the button fast enough. Yeah, the Felt Beasts really telegraph their attacks compared to the normal Drakes. Interesting. Uh, drakes and dragons for a long time. So yeah, I would assume that uh, this is a buff for me when I'm fighting anything like this. I'm curious to see if those respawn uh, over time or not. That'll be the, the real test to see if they come back at some point. Now, if I look here at the map, last time we cleared all of this area and I just had this one little path left that I wanted to clear down here. So I am going to come down and do that real quick before we move on, just to make sure we're not missing something awesome and cool over there. And uh, then we'll go looking for star metal. So we're back out here. I can't recall if I got this wizard's mark or not. I did. Uh, okay. Well, we're right here. The way to the next zone is somewhere right around here, it looks like. Uh, right back over here, maybe? Where did we find that entrance? I have just realized that I'm uh, being kind of dumb. That zone is down in the darkest deeps that we didn't continue farther. And I have no interest in uh, going down there and continuing to explore the rooms in the darkest deeps at the moment. Uh, primarily because we don't really need anything from down there right now. We've got plenty of gems and resources. S maybe someday we'll need some more sunstone or something, but uh, yes, that is the darkest deeps below us. Now, before I go off on the adventure that we've got planned, I'm actually going to jump back to the forge, and there was a two-handed axe that was tier 5 that I hadn't made yet, and we might as well make that just because it's the only other tier 5 weapon I can get my hands on. And I suspect that this pickaxe just isn't going to cut it when we're down there. And I do have this tendency to prefer two-handed weapons generally. Now this one's called the Red Flame Red Axe. Uh, attacks to fire damage can charge to burn enemies. Uh, so apparently it's always a red flame or I don't know why I got the red flame buff on it. I didn't put anything else in there. That's interesting. I guess we'll roll with that though. No reason to change it up. Normally I like to get the orc one on uh, my weapons, but eh, we'll see what it does. I am going to take the chance though. I'm going to go ahead and dump off the other equipment like the pickaxe for now. We'll keep our good helmet with us and our bare bones basic building materials. I do need to pick up a stack of those crystals though. We had to make those uh, no grad uh, ingots and it used up all the ones in my inventory. Uh, I'm not seeing any in here. Maybe they're, and I keep calling them crystals. I'm talking about the quartz. 
uh, the true quartz. These things. Ooh, I've only got four in there. We'll have to pick some more up of those if I see them somewhere around as well. In fact, I feel like we'll just make a pit stop here real quick and do it before I forget about them. Uh, you get so many from a single note, and they're right by the map stone, so we might as well. The crystal descent it makes it easy. There we go. And I'll be honest, I don't even remember how we got into the crossroads the normal way. All I remember is that from the western halls, I can run down that hallway and get in there the way that we got in the first time. So we're going to jump into the old base here. We haven't been here in forever. Can we even leave some stuff here? The chest is empty. This chest is super basic. I'm not going to bother with the hero's token. Oh, we've got wooden stone here. All right, well, we've got a little minor base here if we ever need to fall back for some reason. And here we are. I believe this is going to be our way through. It's been a minute since we've been here. I'm going to power through the shadow because we can. I don't think it's going to cause too much problems. Let's get our torch out for a little bit more light. Here we go. This is our path through the crossroads, if I'm not mistaken. Where is this leaving us? This is in Barazan Bar. I wish I could figure out, like, where uh, our other exits were. So this, I can't quite click on it. Shortcut to Western Hall. So there's another shortcut from somewhere to go back and forth to the Western Hall. Uh, but I was pretty sure we came to the entrance from the other zone somewhere as we were running through here, too. It's so dark. We're in the middle of night right now, I guess. We didn't uh, align our sleeping pattern with a, a good time for going out and adventuring. Hopefully it becomes daytime by the time we get out of the parts we've already explored. All right, here we are in the crossroads, and would you look at that? Eric has shown up now for us, ah, finally. Eric! What news from the king? Ah, good news! Lord Gimli crosses over the mountain to the Dimril Gate, East Gate. He's safe then. Ah, ah. King Thorin travels to meet Gimli. The king is coming too. Ah, they take advice and stay outside. King says you must make Mithril weapon. <laughs> Kill the dragon. What? Kill. A Mithril weapon to kill the dragon? I see. <laughs> Why do I have to Take kill him? Scroll <laughs> shows Mithril Forge. Uh oh. Mithril Forge. I thought it was a myth. Thank you, Arik. At least they're going to show me where it's at. Thorin and Gimli will wait at Miramir. Ah. Till Dragon is killed, Kazakh Stone is found. Ah. Stay safe. All right. I got a recipe and a bunch of quest stuff. Nice. I guess I have been looking for the Kazakh Stone still, which should be Nain's grave. Nain took the Kazakh Stone with him somewhere near mithril loads either the stone will be there or the place of his last stand will hold clues to where it might be i shall search under barazan bar for where he stood against the balrog yep forge a mithril weapon craft a weapon his smith called shazad kananman um, yeah i'm butchering that this weapon will help me defeat the dragon perfect do whatever it takes to rid moria of her king thorin has asked me for the has asked for the Narag Shazan to be killed until the menace under the Moria is defeated. These mountains will never be safe for dwarves. I still have the Rebuild the Mine Host uh, quest after all this time. Recipe list. So, yep, this will be the Mithril Forge, and uh, that's a tier 6 weapon. So this must be the end of the uh, line here, this tier 6 thing. I wonder if there's another set of armor or if this Durin's armor is going to be our tier 5 is the final armor if there's a tier 6 armor out there I don't know but I'm going to need a lot of sunstones 
which I know how to farm now, and the star metal ingots. We need lots of star metal ingots. All right, folks, well, let's get to it. If I recall, this was the direction we needed to go. And the last time I got one whole room into this and we got swamped by big bad orcs that I couldn't take on and we left. Sunstone, okay, well, I just said I need a whole bunch of sunstone. So let's go get it. We've found our first node of star metal here. So we're gonna go ahead and mine some of this out. It's looking pretty cool. We need a lot of this to make an ingot, if I remember right. So we're gonna mine all of this that I come across uh, in this little leg of the adventure. See how far we get. All right, I think I've got it all here. Now, here's the question. Is that diamond up there? I'm not sure. Can't I build a scaffolding? Uh, yes, I can. A tall platform. Oh, see, you can only do it near a hearth. I'm not building a hearth for stuff. That's so annoying. All right, well, let's just do this this way. That way. And then I will just work my way up here. Is this diamond or what? No, it's just stone. Okay. I think I've tried that early, early in the game. I just couldn't quite remember. Let's stay out of the poison mushrooms. More star metal. And we're gonna continue down this way. Just grabbing some of that meat, getting a little bit poisoned. Perfect. Oh, and this is one of those that goes down forever. I love me some multi-level goodness. Um, well, I should have put a ladder there, but what's done is done when we jump down. I can see down below we're going to be able to exit this room, but this is what I was looking for. Here's another node, and it looks like star metal to me. Let's get at it. So between the two nodes now that we've mined out, and this was a huge one, I now have almost five full stacks of star metal ore. That's a lot of star metal ore. I don't know if it's enough to build the armor or not, but we're going to go find out, I think. Because um, I don't know if there's going to be a map stone like anywhere soon. I do see that the mithril forge is that way, a hundred and some odd yards. So I do think if I go down and make my way around there, that's where it's gonna be. I don't know, like part of me is tempted to do it. Part of me says, let's just go get our armor and then come down here and do all this stuff. It's not that long of a haul back to a uh, map stone going this way. Uh, I'm just gonna see what's in the rest of the upstairs part of this room as long as I'm here though and then maybe we'll figure that out. Um, can I just jump up here? I can. I'm gonna skirt around the sides here. I'm gonna pick up this true quartz while we're here just because we have been using it for some stuff. I don't know if these little skull things on the ground are anything. Um, just stone, okay. We'll rebuild the steam vent here just because I know I'll step on it at some point. Although I really have no reason to come over to this side of things. I just rebuilt it. There must have been more than one there. Alright, well I'm not seeing anything terribly useful up on the top level here. So again, I think the best bet before we go down is to just return to base real quick, build up this Durin's armor, and then we'll come back out here. Back up at the base, let's see about making us some star metal ore. Uh, six and three? Okay, we got plenty of this stuff. Look, 148 star metal now. All right, we'll get it cooking. We'll fill up the whole bar there with that, and then let's empty the inventory and see what else we need for this armor. Oh, I love how that star metal looks when you're up. It like glows real nice. <laughs> it looks cool. I like it. All right, we've got our inventory mostly emptied out now. 
I'm just uh, getting the necessities going. And we are going to look at the recipes here. So now we need to go back to the Great Forge of Durin to actually craft this stuff. And we determined we needed, was it seven of the Durin ingots? I need three, six, nine, twelve sunstones, which we happen to have. And then a bunch more fine cloth and a fine leather. So I'll get on crafting that. I believe we have all of our resources, folks. So I'm going to go ahead and grab our waypoint here. The Great Forge and Seat of Durin the First. Let's see it. We've still got our uh, masterwork torch just laying there on the side of the forge. We can craft. Let's start with the armor. The gloves. The boots. And the helmet. All right. One, two, three, and four. Dawn is at hand. You know, I have to say, I was kind of hoping for an achievement or something, uh, crafting a full set of Durin's gloves, wielding Durin's axe. I feel like we look pretty uh, sweet here. So with that out of the way, I suppose we're ready to continue on. Um, I think well, the way we got back was to go through the outpost. It's not that much different run-wise from uh, going the other way. It's pretty straightforward. We found the way back into the Pharaoh Dwarf. So we're all geared up, our inventory's cleaned out, and we're running back to the crossroads. I thought we'd see how this Durhan's equipment works running through a patch of shadow. It uh, really reduces it really quickly once you're out of the shadow, and it does seem to climb up a little bit slower uh, than it had previously, so I'm feeling pretty good about wearing this. You'll notice we're not wearing our uh, uh, mining helmet anymore, but we do have four helmets worth of armor over there on the bar. I think that's probably worth it to uh, deal with having a torch and running around here. So let me get back out to the crossroads, and we'll start heading down that uh, room into the deeper parts of whatever that zone is called. We are heading down. It looks like, uh, I forgot, there's two tiers to this uh, area. So we're gonna stop on the middle tier here, I think, and get out and look around, partly because I see feathers over there on the wall under the waterfall, and we need us some feathers. I wanna get the uh, max tier uh, bolts here and we've got some sunstone here we used up most of that getting all of these upgrades built so i want to get a little bit more to have on hand my philosophy of mine things you don't have a lot of when you see them now my question is is, is this waterfall gonna cause me problems i don't think it will but we'll find out it doesn't destroy my platform and we should be good to go don't really want eggs, I want feathers. Four feathers, that's worth it. I'm gonna break this down so I can build a uh, ladder maybe, or should I just jump down there? I think I could probably jump down there. Whoops. Got some feathers, got some eggs. Feeling pretty good about this. Uh, we're gonna head down here. That looks like it's all sealed up, nowhere to go. I've got some bad shadowy areas here, but nothing really over there besides some iron. Not really a resource I've had to mine in quite some time. So I'm gonna put a ladder down right here, I think. Give me a way to get back up. I'm sure there's some other ways I could go. 
That way's sealed off. This is making it real easy on us. Most of the ways have been sealed off here, so there's not a lot of options for us. I'll pick up some cranberries while I'm here. I haven't seen them in a little while. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything. I'm keeping my eye out in case there's like a ranger page or something somewhere. We need to find the statue uh, bench. I've got a ton of statues in my inventory. This is just gold. I can tell from a distance. All right, onward we go. That forge isn't very far away. Oh, the forge was a tease. I can't go that way. I'm gonna rebuild the steam vent. I'm sure there's a chance I'll be coming back through here at some point. So yeah, the tunnel goes the opposite direction here on us. Oops, we got poisoned, my bad. Oh, we might as well get the star metal. I'm pretty sure that's what these are. Yep, we'll get a couple more nodes of that. Don't mind if we do. Well, that one was gold. That's just some iron. We're like so close to that mithril forge or whatever it's called, but so far away. This is a path through into a different area. I'm gonna, or maybe it's just sunstone. I'll take the sunstone either way. It was a path through into the other half of this room, which is uh, what I expected. Uh, I'm just looking around more of the star metal. Okay, I'm getting to a point where star metal feels like it's extremely common. So I'm gonna pass on that one. Let's see what's behind this door though, because this doesn't show me a room over here. It just uh, lets me get through. More star metal. Okay, so I went from we need a lot of star metal and it's really hard to get to I've got piles and piles of star metal. I'm not gonna mine it anymore. It's a good spot to be in. I'm gonna open this up just so that I don't have to go through the wonky way every time if we need to run back here. This way I don't forget about it. And let's continue on. More sunstone. That's still a relatively rare resource for us, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. Alright, well I uh, I got kind of panicked there when the shadow dwarfs showed up and I hopefully got that on recording. I was uh, not expecting them. And I see I've got one of those Durin's lamps there. If there wasn't an orc standing right next to it, I'd just run out there because I have Durin's armor. But given that there is an orc down there, I think I'm going to try and build myself a little bridge. Get the orc's attention. Come on, let's do this. Ooh, 193 damage. Nice. Onyx and a black diamonds. Don't mind if we do. Okay, let's try this. Oh, we didn't have enough of the old school granite to finish that. That's unfortunate. I'm not going to find a whole lot of that down here. Well, let's uh, think this through. We'll, keep, we'll come back to this. I do want to start closing those down. For some reason, I thought it was adamant that I needed to do that. Well, that's what I, I brought in my inventory specifically for doing those. I've got the uh, quartz on me, but I have uh, mistakenly gotten the wrong resource here. More sunstone. All right, sunstone is starting to become a common resource for me. Uh, I've got 21 in my inventory, but it, I use so much for the recipes that I do need it for. So we are going to stop one more time here. I'm going to get this node, and then I'll probably feel confident enough to not stop at every uh, bit of sunstone we come across moving forward, knowing that I can find more of it down here. I don't yet know what I'm going to need... Uh, when we get to that next tier, I'm 
kind of hesitant. I haven't found a mithril yet. I'm assuming the mithril forge. I'm gonna need mithril. We're having to mine our way up a set of stairs, essentially, right now, I feel like. It's kind of awkward. It looks like this is the mithril forge zone that we're entering. Hoorah. Is this mithril? Or is this silver? That's silver. Alright, we've got big bad guys in here. Let's do it. that one. I've got better rations I should put out on my bar. I wasn't expecting such a big fight. Alright, this is going well. Oof. They do they just kind of bypass the armor. Oh, I tried to roll. I was too slow. Still alive. Aha. I rolled that time. Woo. All right, that was a bit much. Let's get that going. Let's get this one out. I really should uh, enchant my weapon here for my one-hander when we get back at some point, too. But, right now, what I care about is breaking down these. And what are we getting in chests in this new zone? Uh, more of the same. That's alright, we'll take it. And is this a map stone? Oh yeah. Perfect. We're gonna be able to go back and forth now. I'm like sure to unlock this in case I dive. I'm not quite ready to go back yet. Is this gonna be something useful? Stone? I've got stone, I can do this. Let's have us a sing song. The world is gray, the mountains old, the forge's fire is ash and cold. No harp is rung, no hammer falls. Darkness dwells in Durin's halls. The shadow lies upon his tomb. In Moria, in Kazadum. But still the sunken stars appear in dark and windless mirror. There lies his crown in water deep till Durin wakes again from sleep. Till oh, Durin awesome. wakes from sleep. Oh, and it unlocks the door. How cool is that? King Nain's grave. He kept the Kazan stone with him until the end. All right. The mythic Mithril Forge. By Owly, it is real. Ooh, the Kazan stone. The Kazan stone. Of course, it is Mithril. The nice. Kazan stone. It'll be back in the care of Durin's folk. Now. Durin will return! Alright, let's look at the grave. Nain, our king, stood here against the beast of shadow and fire. His blood spilled for those in his care. He has saved us all, even as we lost our home. Here lies Nain, son of Durin the Sixth, king of Moria. 
The crafting of mithril was once favored by all, a truly special ore. It can be beaten like copper or even polished like glass. The dwarves make it into a metal that is light but harder than a tempered steel. Though it looks like silver, it does not tarnish or grow dim. Okay. Oh, look. I have the Kazid stone. It just shows up in here. Nice. Uh, let's read the books. Book part one. We have taken the great forge of Mithril as our stronghold, preparing for our last stand. In the quiet before we face the shadow, I am drawn to the Kazid stone. My father kept it secret, closer to him than his ring. We never spoke of it, this relic of the first age. My nan told stories of awaiting her son, my sire, holding this very stone, hoping he would be in the likeness of Durin. And then we've got this, which is the song, the beast awoke, beneath her mountain deep, blood now spills, fire, shadow, and halls of Durin, yeah, okay. Awesome, Kazit stone is found, has been found, it was buried with Nain all these long years. I know now that the fate of our people is tied to this chunk of mithril. Once I exit the and meet King Thorin, it will be returned to Durin's line, and our future will be secure. Tribe of Gash, now Shadow. These Shadow Orcs were once deeply under the thrall of the Balrog, but they seem to not miss its fire and smoke. Alright, uh, book if part this two. this Durin the last hasn't appeared, because the Khazad Stone was no longer passed down the line of Durin. It was a terrible mistake, bringing the Khazad Stone here. No, to find it and return it to the line of Durin. Okay. Have I doomed our people? Will never Durin return? With me, I kept the Khazad Stone in hopes it would benefit our last stand. Now, only too late, I realize its power lie not in the strength, but in our future. It is a burst stone. Why was this kept secret from even from me? Held by Durin's line, when calamity strikes, Durin is reborn. In my heart, I know we shall not survive, and this secret will die with us. Have I doomed all Khazad? And then book three. Our final forces were decimated. The creature of shadow burned all in his path until the king fell. Then it left. Only two of us survived. We have built a grave for my father. In haste, as we evacuated the last of our people from the mountains, I leave this account of him as a final eulogy. I take with me the ring that is the heirloom of our house. I know not why this ornate cousin stone was so dear to him, so I buried him with it. And we are in darkness and despair because I'm reading instead of uh, keeping the torches lit. I suppose we should have uh, thought about that, but there we go. And let's just knock out a couple of these things. I gotta find Mithril at some point. I've got so many of these parts. And I know a lot of people have mentioned that I can throw these parts up onto the areas that we have a harder time getting to. So we're gonna try that this time and see what happens. I guess, let me, did I bring, I didn't even bring the mining helmet with me. Now, somebody said I can push R to throw the part. Well, that's uh, going to be pretty slick if this works out. That works-ish. Oh, you got to... Okay, Whew. I was about to be very upset. Perfect. Let us find the rest of the parts. That was easy. Up, up we go. And that does certainly make things easier on us. I'm not seeing this crank anywhere, though, which is unusual. I guess it could be outside of this room, but it's usually in the room that you kind of find it in. What is that? Is that my mithril, finally? Let's find out. Nope, more gold. Oh, I'm dumb. Didn't even come up here. It was hiding behind that low wall. There we go. Now there's a horde. Uh, we will do this. Trump's in the deep. Nice. I appreciate the reference. Uh, get a weapon of any kind to block. Okay. I 
guess I can roll too. I hate these wargs the most, I feel like. I got a mithril ingot off of one of them. Get this out for a minute. I said I was gonna upgrade my weapon to have the anti orc buff. Kinda That's forgot that. It's effective against these goblins though, so we'll keep going. I'd like to buff up my health a little bit here if I could, but. Back, eat some food. Shield bash. Okay, that works on those guys. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's get back over here where there's some light. Progress. Ah, he's hit his own guy. Oh, I'm in shadow. Why am I in shadow? Get away. mess. The horde is here. There's got to be at least one guy left, right? There's a ward over here. Perfect. And the horde is done. We did it. That was probably one of the funnest fights I've had in a while. I felt like we were properly equipped, and uh, it was difficult, but not, I didn't feel like helpless. I liked it, and yeah, I didn't do the best, but we didn't get wrecked either, considering I didn't have uh, a lot of armor and a couple of the buffs on my weapons. We could have done worse. I like it. Feeling good. Let's pick all this stuff up and then check out the forge. All right, first things first, mithril ingots require Shock and surprise, mithril ore. And then if we come over here, the super cool weapon that we're supposed to get is five mithril ingots and nine diamonds. We've got lots of diamonds. We've got scales. Yeah, we just need to find the mithril ingots, which I have actually zero of. I thought we'd gotten some, but it must have just been an unlock for having the forge. Awesome. Well... I'm feeling really good about uh, our progress here today, so I think we're going to wrap up today's episode here. It's going to be a little bit of a shorter one, probably. And next time, we'll, we'll set off on our hunt for Mithril. Hopefully, you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. That's all for today. Keterk, out.